Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a little berry known as the Sichuan peppercorn. This steiny berry, native to the Sichuan province of China, was unlike any other spice in the world. It had a unique flavor, a combination of lemony freshness and adingly numbness that would linger on the tongue. In the early 20th century, Sichuan peppercorn was incredibly valuable due to its unique flavor and the fact that it was only grown in a small area of China. As a result, bandits began stealing precious spice and selling it on the black market. These pepper bandits became notorious in the region and were even the subject of folk tales and legends. They were known to be skilled in sneaking into pepper fields and stealing precious crops without being caught. However, the bandits' reign of terror came to an end when a group of farmers in the Sichuan province came up with a clever solution. They began planting pepper in remote and difficult to reach areas, making it much harder for the bandits to steal. Thanks to the farmer's ingenuity, Sichuan peppercorn was able to flourish and become the beloved spice it is today. So, next time you enjoy a dish with Sichuan peppercorn, remember the daring pepper bandits and the clever farmers who helped bring this unique and flavorful spice to the world. The Sichuan peppercorn has been used in Chinese cooking for centuries, adding a special zing to dishes such as Kung Pao Chicken and Mapo Tofu. But it wasn't until the 20th century that the rest of the world discovered the magic of this little berry. In the 1960s, American soldiers returning from the Vietnam War brought with them a taste for the spicy foods they had encountered during their time in Asia. This sparked a curiosity in American palates, and soon Chinese restaurants began popping up all over the country. One of the key ingredients in these spicy Chinese dishes was the Sichuan peppercorn. And as more and more people tried this unique spice, it began to gain popularity. But there was one problem. The Sichuan peppercorn was not readily available in the United States. This all changed in 2005, when the United States lifted a ban on the importation of Sichuan peppercorns that had been in place for over 30 years. The ban had been put in place because the peppercorns were found to be carriers of a plant disease called citrus canker. But with new, disease-free strains of the peppercorn available, the ban was lifted and the spice could finally be enjoyed by American cooks and foodies. Since then, the Sichuan peppercorn has become a staple in American kitchens, adding a unique and delicious flavor to all kinds of dishes. It can be used in marinades, rubs, and even desserts. One of the unique things about Sichuan peppercorn is that it has a unique numbing sensation called mine Chinese, which is caused by a compound called hydroxy alpha sans hole. This numbing sensation is often combined with chili heat in Sichuan cuisine to create a balance of flavors that is both spicy and numbing. It is also known as flower pepper as it is the outer pod of the tiny fruit of the prickly ash tree, and it gives a unique flavor and aroma to dishes. The Sichuan peppercorn is a vital ingredient in the famous Sichuan hot pot, adding a bold, savory taste to the brothy base. So, next time you're looking to add a little excitement to your cooking, reach for the Sichuan peppercorn. This tiny berry may be small, but it packs a big punch of flavor, from Kung Pao chicken to hot pot. It will elevate your dishes and give them a taste that is truly out of this world.